Hey guys, it's Jen from the Benjamin Harrison YMCA coming to you again from my backyard because although our doors may be closed, our mission still continues. Today, we're going to have a strength and endurance class and for today's class, all you're going to need is a mat, some light weights or something to give you a little bit of resistance um, and some water. So I'm going to give you a second to get those items and then we'll get started. All right guys, now that you've got your items together, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm up. Let's go ahead and start jogging in place. Nothing too crazy, just step in, get that heart rate starting to rise, get that blood flowing, and get those muscles nice and warm. We're gonna have an awesome workout today. It's a gorgeous day today. Not too hot. Alright, we've got 15 more seconds. And pick up that pace just a little bit more. And we're going into a torso twist. Bring it into the center. And a nice, easy twist. Get that back nice and stretched out. Again, nothing too crazy. Full torso twist, side to side. Gotta get those backs loosened up from sitting at our computers, maybe on the couch, maybe from a good workout you had yesterday. Three, two, one. Let's go for some hip openers. Bring that knee up and around. Workout. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. We're almost done with the warm up. I would say that would, would be a really short workout today. You got 15 more seconds. Alright, let's bring it in for some arm circles. Nice big arm circles forward nice and slow. Keep just a little side step just to keep those legs still warming up. And let's take it to the back. Good job. Really open up that chest. Get those shoulders ready for some work. And we're going to come out, open those legs just a little bit, and you're going to alternate side to side. Now I'm not pressing down to my leg, I'm just kind of placing my hands gently on my knees, stretching out those inner thighs, chest is staying lifted, good job. And that nice little stretch, we're going to be working those legs a lot today. We've got different variations of lunges. It's going to be a good one. And three, two, and one. All right, guys. We're, now that we're all warmed up, we're moving into our workout. We're going to have 10 exercises. We're going to go through each exercise for 45 seconds with a 20 second rest. We'll go through the entire 10 exercises, have a 30 second rest, and then we'll do it all over again. So we're gonna have three rounds of work, and then we're gonna finish out with a little bit of a core blast. So go ahead, grab a drink if you need it, and we're gonna move into a squat with a front raise. So grab your weights, you're gonna squat down and up just the shoulder level. Come on and join me. Good. So, as we're squatting, we're sitting back with those glutes, 
like we're sitting in a chair. Chest is staying lifted and our arms are stopping at shoulder height. Weights come down to the side and return back up to the front. Good job. Got five, four, three, two, rest. We're gonna move into our second exercise, which is gonna be a bent fly. And I want you to turn a slight angle to your screen. Separate your feet lightly. Nice bend in the knees. A little bend in the elbows. Rising up and back down. Go ahead and join me. We're not coming up like this. You're keeping that slight bend in the elbow, squeezing those shoulder blades to bring those weights up. Good job, guys. I've got you slightly turned to the side, so you're watching me from the side and not cranking your neck. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. You're gonna join me down on the ground, and we're gonna reverse that fly motion. So I want your legs up in this tabletop position. Weights are positioned right over those elbows, shoulders, and we're gonna open down and back up. So we're trying to bring those elbows down underneath the floor without bending our arms. So it's not a chest press. We're flying. Palms are facing in. We're looking up to the ceiling. Opening and closing those weights. Using that chest to squeeze those weights together. We have our legs up. To help keep that back against the floor and to bring a little bit of core work into the game. And rest. Good job. Take those same weights, place your feet on the floor, palms face towards your knees. Weights can be touching or slightly apart, right above those shoulders again. We're lowering those weights down just to the crown of our head and bringing them back up. We're getting some tricep work. Keep those wrists nice and strong. And elbows should stay over those shoulders through the whole motion. I'm gonna turn so you can see. My elbows are staying tucked in. I'm not pulling them out. Here, keep them locked in, down and back up. Don't lift those wrists fall. We're almost there. Two and one. Good job. Come back up. We're moving into a deadlift. So keep your weight. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. My palms are facing my thighs. Weights are slightly separated, and I'm just hinging forward. Join me. So I'm keeping that weight back through my heels. A nice flat back, and I'm hinging at the weights. I'm not bending my knees. Keeping everything nice and tight. Squeezing those hamstrings and glutes bring these down and back up. Shoulders are down and back and not something over. I want to see those nice flat backs. And four, three, two, and one. Rest. Next, we're going into a calf raise with a curl. So our palms are going to face forward and all we're doing is raising up onto those toes bring up the 
those heels into a calf raise. And we're curling while we do it. So you're just raising and lowering. Up and down. Belly is brace. I'm standing nice and tall. My shoulders are down and back and locked into place. I'm starting and stopping those weights at the front of my thighs and at my shoulders. And we're having a nice little play over right now. That's all right. It's real life. We've got 10 more seconds. I hope you can still hear me. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. All right. Shake out those arms. Shake out those calves. We're going into a curtsy lunge. If you don't know what that is, we're gonna be lunging back. So we're stepping across just slightly and returning back up to the front. Down, back up. But we're adding a shoulder press to it also. So down and up, join me. Now this is a regular lunge. There's a little bit of a flare to it, but we still, Keep that weight in that forward heel. Pressing down through the heel and back up. Chest stays lifted. And our shoulders and our elbows stay in line when our weight comes down. Two and one. Good job, guys. All right, we're gonna come back down to the floor. You're gonna need one weight. You're gonna hold that weight directly above those shoulders. We're gonna lift and lower that weight behind our head. Lower the hips and bring your weight back up. Let's go. So the bridge up, back down. So the arms go down and return back up right above those shoulders. Squeezing those glutes to bring yourself up into that bridge and relaxing them back down. Good job, guys. 15 more seconds. We're almost done with this first round. Two and one. Good job. Flip on over because we've got push ups. I can hear you all cheering from home. You're so excited for push ups, right? All right, go ahead. Get in your position. Push ups. Let's go. Remember, you have the option knees, tabletop or up on your toes, whatever works for you. Let's keep it going. 30 more seconds. As we cycle through, I want you to challenge yourself. If you're starting today in that tabletop position, maybe the second or third round, you go to your knees. Maybe you try one or two on your toes. Relax, stretch it out. Good job, guys. All right, last one. Grab your weights. We're gonna go to the forward lunge with a hammer curl. Everybody ready? Let's go. Lunging forward hammer curling up. So the difference in your hand position on this one compared to your calf raise is that your palms are facing in. They're facing each other. You're moving like you're hammering a nail. Weight is still in that forward heel. Chest is still lifted. Belly is still braced. 
10 more seconds. Three, two, finish out nice and strong. Good job. All right, we got a 30 second rest. Shake it out. Grab yourself a drink. We're starting back from the beginning. It's our squat with that front raise. If the weight you had before was hard, you could keep that chest lifted. Felt like it was dragging you down. Lower your weight a little bit. Scrub those weights. And let's go. Squat, front raise. Remember, sitting back in the chair, chest stays nice and lifted. Weights come out to the side of my thighs. And I stop right at my shoulder height. Good job. Weight stays back in those heels. 15 seconds, guys. Three, two, relax. All right. Angle to the side. We've got our flies. Shake out those legs. Hinge forward at the waist. Nice flat back. Elbows bent. Let's go. Squeezing those shoulder blades. The top. I want to see a nice smooth motion. If you're having to jerk it up like that, lower your weights a little bit. It's okay. Reversing that fly motion. We activated our back, so we're gonna activate our chest. So remember, legs are up the tabletop, weights are directly above those elbows and shoulders. They're all in one line. And here we go, flying down and back up. So the arms are doing the same thing that you were just doing while you were standing. But this time, we're really using that chest to bring those weights back together. Legs are up to protect that back. Helping us to activate that core. And we're breathing. Three, two, and one, legs come down, shake out those arms. We're going into the skull crushers next. Right here for some tricep work. Weights are together or a slight separation. Elbows face towards those knees. And let's go. Elbows are staying right above those shoulders. Good job. Don't let those elbows fall. Keep them in nice and tight. And wrist, elbow, stay in line the whole motion. Bending only to the elbow. Shoulders are staying stationary. We're not moving those shoulders. You're almost there. Four, three, two, relax. Good, come on up. We're going into those deadlifts. So again, palms are gonna face in towards our quads. Those thighs, yep. Slight bend in those knees. And let's go. 
pushing back with those glutes, weight in those heels, coming down as far as you can so you feel that resistance in your hamstrings, the back of your legs, and then using those hamstrings and those glutes to bring you back up to a full stand. We're keeping those shoulders down and back. Come on guys, 15 seconds. Four, three, two, relax. Good. We're gonna go into that calf raise with our curl. Palms face forward for this one. Our weights are gonna start and stop right in front of our thighs. Raising up onto those toes as high as you can. Let's go. Raising up and lowering it down. Everything nice and controlled. If those calves start to burn, just stay still. And continue your curls. And jump back in with the calf raises when you can. Good job, guys. We're almost there, 15 seconds. Four, three, two, relax. Good job. We're moving into our curtsy lunge with our shoulder press. So from the side, you guys, if you're looking, I'm taking my leg and I'm crossing back, sitting down, and then returning back to that center. Stepping back and across. Arms are up. Let's go. Down, back up. Chest is staying lifted. And I'm stepping those weights in a touchdown. Good job. Still trying to keep your hips facing forward with that slight crossover. Driving down to that forward heel and returning it. Ooh, shoulders on fire. And relax. Shake it out. We're coming down to the floor for our bridge with that lap pullover. One week. All right, weight above those shoulders. Finally got it right this time. And we're lifting our hips while we lower that weight. Back up. Really squeezing those glutes to get yourself up off that floor. Keeping that core nice and tight. And controlling that weight. Some of you may not have a lot of shoulder flexibility, and that's okay. Work within the range of motion that keeps your shoulders protected. And still allows you to get a good workout. Two and one. All right, guys. Push up time. So like I said before, I want you to challenge yourself. If you are on tabletop to start, maybe try a couple on your knees this time. Or try a couple up on your toes. Let's go. We love push-ups. Thirty more seconds. Keep pushing, guys. We're almost done with round number two. Can you guys believe I haven't made you do a plank yet? Four, three, 
four, three, two, stretch it out. All right, come back up. Grab those weights again. We're going into that forward lunge with a hammer curl. Palms face in for this curl. Weight still stays, not forward heel, alternating our legs. Let's go. Chest stays lifted. Weight stay controlled. Controlling those weights on the way down so they're not just falling and swinging. Protect your shoulders, protect your back. Five, four, three, two, relax. We made it. That's round two. Last round. Got 10 exercises. You guys have made it this far. We started together. We're gonna finish together. And these birds are out of control today. Grab yourself a drink. All right, we're heading back into that squat front raise. In three, two, one, let's go. Can you sit a little deeper this time? Push those glutes back a little bit farther. Keep that chest up a little bit higher. A little bit faster if you can, while still maintaining good form. Really push yourself in this last round. I know you're tired, but trust me guys, you can do it. Starting and stopping those weights with control. Four, three, two, relax. All right, bent rows. Remember, we're right here. If those arms are shot, it's okay. Set your weights down or get a lower set of weights. It's your workout. Let's go. Nice flat back, shoulders down and back, locked in. No curving of that back. Don't want to see you like this. I don't want you to get hurt. Stick those glutes out, squeeze those shoulder blades, and let's go. 20 more seconds. Other shoulders healing. Three, two, woo. My shoulders and my back are on fire. Let's go down to the floor, guys. We're gonna reverse that fly. All right, arms up above those elbows. And let's go, slight bend. And those elbows, lowering down to the floor, and back up, controlling it down, and squeezing with that chest to bring it back up. Legs at tabletop, keep that lower back connected to the floor. 15 more seconds. Come on guys, five, four, three, two, relax. All right, school crushers, let's work the back of those arms. Palms facing your knees, elbows stay in, shoulders and elbows stay in line, only bending in the elbow. Let's go, bring those weights down and meet that forehead. Please don't slam yourself in the head with your weights. 
I know you're tired. Good job, guys. Shoulders are not moving. They're staying nice and strong, being your anchor point. We're bending at those elbows, controlling the weight down, pressing it back up, using those triceps to squeeze and press back up. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, guys. Come on up. We're almost there. We're going into lift number five. It's our deadlift. You've got that soft bend in the knees. We're gonna hinge forward at the waist. Shoulders down and back. Let's go. Pushing back with those glutes. Coming back up, nice and tall. Shoulders down and back. As you hinge, you should be able to have somebody set a glass of water on your back. When you hit that low point, before you come back up, without spilling the water, because you've got a nice flat back. Keep those weights in nice and close to your body. Come on guys, you're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. You've got our calf raise with our curl. Palms face me. Starting and stopping at those thighs. Everything's controlled. Two, one, let's go. Up, back down. Everything that's in control. Elbows staying under those shoulders. Chest staying nice and tall. Good job. 
All right, push-ups. This is your last round. I want you to challenge yourself. I know your shoulders are tired. I know your arms are tired, but you've got this. You've got four, three, two, let's go. If you get tired, hold a plank position. I know you guys have been waiting for me to say it, right? And jump back in when you can. Keep that belly brace, core nice and tight. Everything moving is one unit. Push through. You've got 10 more seconds. Come on, guys. Three, two, one. Stretch it out. Grab those weights. This is our last exercise in the group of 10. We've got our forward lunge with our hammer curl. Remember, palm stays in, chest stays proud. Let's go. Forward, pressing down through the weight, all the way down to that forward heel. Chest is saying hi. You're looking at me. You're not looking down at the floor. Come on, guys. We're almost there. Fifteen seconds. a drink. We're done with the weights. You're coming down to the floor to meet me. We're going to have 30 seconds of a side plank on each side. And we're going to do starfish. And we're going to finish with bicycles. So join me in your side plank. Lift up, reach through. So your options here is on your knees, one leg extended, or up on both. You're just doing a slight reach through under that other armpit and coming back up, stopping with that arm just at your shoulder level. Good job. Come around to the other side. Find what side plank works for you. Making sure that your elbow and your shoulder are in line. And let's go. Just slight reach under, open back up. Good job. Now, you're gonna be down for starfish. You're gonna lay flat on your back. Legs are out wide, arms are up wide. You're gonna come up, meet in the middle, opposite arm, opposite leg. Let's go. You're turning back down to the center in between each meet and group. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, relax. All right, we've got bicycles. Three, opposite arm to opposite knee. And let's go. Make sure you're not pulling your neck forward. It should be laying 
lightly in your hand. Rotating side to side. Ooh, we're burning out those obliques today. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Quick stretch out. Back into your side plank. This is the last round through. You guys have got it. Find your side plank you're comfortable with. And let's go. Reaching under, coming up. Elbow and shoulder in line. If reaching under you is not for you, stay right here in a side plank. Or right here. If you wanna do a little hip drop, that's okay. Let's just get those obliques burning. Leaving you with a little burn today. Three, two, one. Quick turn around to the other side. Again, stacking your elbow and your shoulder in a line. We don't want to see it way out here. You don't want to hurt those shoulders. Raise up and let's go. Remember, we're stopping that arm right above that shoulder or slightly in front. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Starfish. Legs wide, arms wide. In five, four, three, two. Let's go. Meet and greet in the middle. Your shoulder should be coming up off that floor to come across and your opposite leg. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Stretch it out. Final 30 seconds. You've got bicycles. In four, three, two, Let's go. Come on guys, push through. It's your last 30 seconds. Give it all you got. You've made it this far. Don't quit now. Whew, it's on fire. 10 seconds, you're not gonna quit. You're gonna push. Three, two, one. Woo. Take a second. Stretch it out. Stretch as far as you can with those arms. Stretch as far as you can with those toes. Slow that breathing down. Good job, guys. Come on up. Stay seated and face me. Arms nice and tall. And reach towards me. Good job, guys. You worked really hard today. These exercises may not have been new to you, and that's okay. But I hope that you challenged yourself Maybe went a little heavier with weights than what you normally would. Come back up nice and tall. And reach out over those toes. Reach towards me, not down to the floor. I hope maybe today you did a push up in a way that you haven't done it yet to challenge yourself. And if not, you can rewatch this video at any point in time and just push yourself a little harder the next time. Whatever works for you. Go ahead, bring that leg over, 
and slide it forward. I've got little kiddos staring at me from the window. So you might hear some banging here in a minute. All right, lower that bottom leg, sit nice and tall, arm behind, look over that shoulder. Bring it back around to the front. Opposite leg over. Go ahead and bring that lower leg up. Shift that weight forward towards the heel. Release it back. Lower that bottom leg. Sit nice and tall. And sit. I hope you enjoy that little core blast there at the end. I don't know about you, my core is on fire. Come back around to the front. Sit nice and tall. All right, shake those arms out. Thumbs to the ceiling. Thumbs to the ground. Push it back. Stretch out that chest. Good job. Bring one arm across the front. Stretch out those shoulders. Keep that shoulder down. Tilt your head away. Get a nice little stretch through that neck. And let's switch. Again, shoulder down. Nice little neck stretch. Good job. One more. Take that arm up over your back. Sit however's comfortable for you. Chin off your chest. Give yourself a nice little pat on the back. Arms up and switch. All right, guys. I just want to say thank you so much for joining me again for this strength and endurance class. Hopefully some of you who have been working out with me on, my, on these different videos are happy today because we didn't do all the planks and the burpees that we normally do. But I hope you got some good weight work in. If you're a member of the Y, thank you so much for sticking with us and being such a support to all of us, the staff members, your fellow members, everybody. It's awesome. If you're not a member of the Y and you would like to become a member, or would like more information on any of the programs or the awesome things that we're doing in our community, please visit our website at www.indymca.org. And also, if you feel like you would like to make a donation to our wives, we're doing some awesome things in our community. At Benjamin Harrison, where my home is, um, we're currently hosting camp for our essential workers' children. Um, we're continuing our senior backpack food program. So we're feeding our seniors so they don't have to go to the stores often. They don't have to worry about where their next meal is coming from. We're doing blood drives throughout the city. We've just got a lot that we're doing. And a lot of that is made possible by the donations that are coming from all of you in our community. If you would like to donate, please do so at www.indymca.org slash donate. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe, and we will see you soon.